Many uh, strategy was established five years ago and it is a platform uh, with different uh, priority areas. The, the water quality is specifically focusing on 14 different actions and uh, with different aims. Uh, one of them is the river basin management plans, uh, agricultural pollution, and hazardous substances and we also focus on sub-basin management issues. So different topics uh, but uh, we try to identify the, the priority area which is uh, relevant for all stakeholders in the Danube, which is a, a habitat for 80, 80 million people of Europe. Well, in the Danube strategy, uh, we are trying to f uh, spot uh, innovative approaches and we're trying to find projects which are of a transboundary character. We are um, aiming to set up project proposals for specific issues. For example, an issue of the sediment is very important for all Danub Danubians and there was a very uh, good project proposal submitted together out of 12 countries. Uh, with, uh, uh, with some lead countries and uh, that will be finding innovative solutions on the issue of the sediment. Other issues which are very important for us is sub-basin um, management and then we're also finding uh, project proposals to different uh, financing mechanisms, whether it's LIFE, whether it's Horizon 2020 or whether it's transnational programs that are all very relevant for us. Hungary is uh, focusing now on water education and I think it's also very important for the Danube uh, with the cooperation with the different uh, universities and the specific uh, setting up some high level uh, water education programs. So I think uh, innovation is very important for us uh, related to monitoring and uh, we're trying to find good projects for early warning monitoring and you have to know that not only innovation is important but also maintenance for the uh, for the water quality monitoring. Uh, the area is working hard uh, to define uh, projects for that and also for the urban wastewater treatment we need to find uh, innovative uh, methods which are uh, reachable and achievable for even non-EU countries and for uh, Central European parts uh, which are facing difficulties especially in uh, small settlements and in non-EU countries in the larger settlements as well.